Wildman Survival Shovel. A lightweight, compact, all-in-one solution for those who like to be prepared for any challenges, from daily situations to extreme adventure. It comes with a carrying case made from water-resistant material and four extension tubes, and it weighs just two pounds, two ounces. Featuring many practical and important life-saving tools, the Wildman Survival Shovel is tested in every situation. From camping, hiking, fishing, survival, emergency situations, law enforcement, hunting, mining, gardening, and more. It includes everything you need, an axe, saw, wire cutter, hoe, harpoon, rescue knife, and serrated knife, bottle opener, compass, whistle, fire starter, and more. Made from manganese steel, military-grade aluminum alloy handle, and stainless steel spade, Wild Man Survival Shovel is made to last in heavy-duty conditions. That's why it comes with a two-year warranty. You break it, we replace it. No questions asked. Place your order now and get ready for your next adventure. Hi, this is Les from What the Hell Am I Thinking? And I'm today going to review the multi-tool. It's a shovel, axe, saw, wrench, uh, fire starter. What else do you got in this thing? Can't quite use it as a walking stick, but if you're really short, maybe like Yoda, yeah, you could use it as a walking stick. Um, it does have a blade on it as well. We're going to put it to the test a little bit and see what you guys think. Can it cut? Sort of. Can it dig? Sort of. Could it save your life? Yeah, I'd have to say if you're out in the middle of nowhere and you need a multi-tool, this would do it. All right, one of the neat operations about this, you can actually unscrew different portions of this. And you can use them in different, uh, different configurations. Let me get this open up here. This one's handy. Well, one, I have a fire starter here, as well as I put some waterproof matches in. So you have a built-in knife as well, and you can make this a little shorter so you can actually turn this into a spear if you wanted to screw this on here. Like I said, you have a, a saw, you have a couple, uh, well, I don't want to use the word socket. Hey, but you can open your beer. That's really important. And I suppose you can open up a can if you really had to. It does even come with a measuring device. Uh, it's a ruler if you can see it there. Anyway, let me give you the long and short of it. Is it nice to have a shovel with you? Definitely. Is it the best shovel? No. It's nice to have a saw with you. Is it the best saw? No. But it's nice to have an extra one just in case. Uh, it's basically like anything else, any multi-tool. It seems like it can do the job, sort of. Does it do the job as well as any one particular um, device is built to? No, not at all. It kind of just gets by. So in an emergency situation, it would be perfect. In a normal day use, no, I would definitely use a saw over this. Um, if I had a bigger shovel, yes, I'd definitely use a shovel over this. This wouldn't be my first reach. My knife, this is kind of a chintzy knife. Uh, will it cut? Sort of, if you push hard enough. Um, could it save your life? Yes, it could. Uh, it's a nice thing to have in the kit if you have room. It's really heavy, so it wouldn't be anything I would take hiking or backpacking, in my opinion. Very heavy. Uh, but again, if you're just uh, out camping and you can throw it in your gear, not a bad not a bad. It came ad. with a compass as well. And, I don't know, it seems kind of leggy, but if you give it long enough, it will slowly point you the right direction. But boy, you got to wait. It takes a while for it to update. I guess it's like running an old version of Windows 95. But yep, the compass will help you give you direction at least where Magnetic North is. That's not bad. That could help you in some situations for sure. Most of my experience with these multi-tools, it seems like I could do things quicker with my hands. Sometimes I see people camping and they get their handsaw out and they're cutting a branch or they're cutting something. And I'm thinking, well shoot, I could just snap that. and. I think they just do that for the glory of using their their equipment. But let's see here. Yep. 
definitely can cut. I'm only using one hand because the other one's using the, oops, that is a problem. The top rolled a little bit, but if I was using two hands, I could definitely push down a lot harder. Okay, Let me do that. after a little effort and about six times going back and forth, it did cut. Does it cut incredible? No. Did it cut? Yeah, it did cut. Could it save your butt? It probably could if you really needed to cut something and you had enough time. Next question is, can it shovel? Well, of course it can shovel, especially in this stuff. You could dig yourself out of the snow, out of the mud. You grab gravel if you were stuck in the mud. But yeah, it does shovel. Is it the biggest, best shovel? Of course not. However, in a pinch, it would do the trick.